The time has finally come. Tonight we're here at Thorpe Park to finally experience the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. It's Hyperia. We cannot thank Thorpe Park enough for inviting us down to be able to get an exclusive ride this evening. It's the press night and we cannot wait to experience this coaster for the first time. And of course, take you all along for the experience as well. Uh, now this evening, there's going to be some special entertainment put on by Thorpe Park. There's also as well, our first chances to get as many rides as we can do on Hyperia and along with that we're also going to get to see a special opening show and closing show tonight as well we cannot wait to get on hyperion we've been following this for so long so to finally get on it it's going to be really special it's an iconic moment in the uk theme park industry hyperion stands at 236 foot tall with speeds of over 80 miles per hour it's manufactured by mac rides and you know what this coaster looks absolutely insane some of the elements on this ride look like they're really going to be awesome so we can't wait to head down down there and experience it. We've got about 30 minutes to go until the opening ceremony tonight. So we're gonna have a little look around the Hyperia area that's set up for the event tonight. And then of course, we're gonna be back tomorrow as well for the opening day to capture the atmosphere of that day as well. The atmosphere of an opening day is always incredible. Oh, it's gonna be a brilliant couple of days. So come and join us here on Theme Park Worldwide for our first ever ride on Hyperia. Let's go. Hey, hey look at this, we've got the balloon archway out as we make our way down the gold carpet for our first ride on this car. So the excitement really is building tonight as we find out fearless for the first time. Wow, look at this. I'm loving the balloon archways. And this is a great photo opportunity because you've got Hyperia just behind you there as well. Wow, we make our way down into the event tonight. Oh, I'm loving the outfits just down here with the mirror balls on as well. What oh, I need it for it as well. The sun is shining down here at Thorpe Park for this historic evening. The UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. Wow. Hey, a bit of high period down here. Got the DJ up there as well. Oh, I tell you what, Thorpe Park have gone all out for this event tonight. Look at this. We've got a double sided bar. We've got the DJ. Amazing. What a vibe. Well, here we go then. The time has come. It's just gone 6.15 and we're now making our way down towards the Hyperia Plaza for the opening ceremony. Wow, here we go. Walking into the area for the first time and just hearing that soundtrack as well. Look at this. Got the wings down there on the floor. And of course, we're all going to gather now over here by Hyperia's entrance and the stage. Off to the left, ready for the opening ceremony. Fearless fueled us off to the right there. Wow, are you excited, Charlie? How are you feeling? I'm so excited. Oh, this is just like the moment we've been waiting for, isn't it? Following the construction. Used to be down here. So, of course, entrance off to the right hand side, height restriction of 1.3. We're now waiting for that opening ceremony to begin. Here we go. I am fearless. This is not a story of any one strength, but of a triumph so great it lies within us all. I yearned to explore the distant lands, to touch the clouds, the pale sky, tormented by the ones As the waves come crashing in, I grew a strength like never before and forged my own destiny. Join us in our story. We are
the train being sent round. We're now making our way into the queue line for Hyperia. There we go, that's the first train for the press event. Love it, Scott O'Neill on there as well, CEO of Merlin Entertainment. What a vibe. Oh, and I tell you what, the weather tonight is perfect for this. We to make our way here into the queue line for our first time. And of course, when you're waiting in this queue line, listening to that new soundtrack from Ima Score, it's really going to build up the atmosphere and the anticipation for riding on Hyperia. As you can see, there's some screens down in the queue line. They did a really good job actually with all the queue fences down here. And love how you're queuing right underneath, just over here as well. Look at this. The size of the elements, two inversions on here. There she is! I can't wait. <laughs> I'm loving the soundtrack, you know me, music and so much to the overall experience as well. It feels quite surreal, you know, it's walking down this queue line after so long. That's Jack and Kieran! <laughs> wow. Really cool, just notice on the screen they're actually playing some of the construction videos as well, which is really nice while you're waiting, especially with it being such an iconic coaster for the UK. And we're also really excited to see the merchandise in the Hyporium over there, the new shop, and Cloud9 Treats just over there as well. Another eatery, there's also a Q Line shop just over here as well. It actually doubles up onto the plaza, which is known as Fearless Valley. What perfect weather for our first time! Hey! Big Bottle of Wine on YouTube, love it. Lots of queue line, and he's gonna need it. It's gonna be a popular ride. Whee! The golden moment. Whee! Oh, this atmosphere is incredible. Absolutely incredible. He's watching the train, he's had on the lift hill. Wow. Of course, we continue making our way down through the queue line. Some nice landscaping around. They've been working really hard especially throughout the past kind of 48 hours to get all this landscaping done as we get ready to find our fearless. Loving the soundtrack. Audio just adds so much to the experience and really builds you up for your ride. And I believe it's got dispatch audio in the station and also at the end of the ride when you come back in and on the lift still as well. So that really adds to the overall kind of ambience around the ride. And this soundtrack from Ima Score is fantastic. Pumping out nice and loud through the queue line here as well. Oh, and this gear is amazing around here. I remember when we first saw the plans and the concept art and there was an angle from this side looking up and thinking here we are, you know, a few years later and this is it, we're about to ride the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster. Honestly, Charlotte, what a moment this. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Seeing people enjoying the ride, it's amazing. It just feels so surreal, doesn't it, walking down the queue for the first time. Like we're finally here after years of waiting, we are so excited to ride. And the best thing is, you know, we got to see the first test about a month ago. We saw the top it off, we saw a lot of the early track pieces go in. And the fact that now we're about to actually sit on this thing and ride it from that ride, it feels quite surreal, it's doesn't it? It's a really special moment, I can't wait to see how it rides. Now the really exciting is, thanks to Thorpe Park, um, we've also been given permission to share our ride with you all on there as well. Uh, we're going to have a GoPro rigged up on the front of the train, so we can take you all along and you can see our first reaction to this ride. We cannot thank Thorpe Park enough for this, we really appreciate it. Honestly, thank you so much to Thorpe Park um, for allowing us this opportunity uh, to take you all along so you can see our reactions to this beast of a ride. And of course, we're also putting the official on ride POV front facing as well, so you can see that too. Yeah, 
I do love how you're looking straight up at the coaster. And of course, that's why you've got the net in here for your safety as well. We're gonna get some crazy hang time on there and then down into the water splash. Well, the time has almost come for Hyperion. And you've got a nice little screen just down here as well, giving you some information before you make your way up there into the station. All the usuals, no phones, make sure that everything's secured. The good thing is with this coaster, it does have the iconic Mac Rise story system on the other side of the platform, which is fantastic. Hey, there's Jack. I <laughs> love it. Hey, a little preview of some of the Hyperion merch, I reckon, there as well. We're going to be having a look in the shop <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> look how happy Jack is. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Not his uh, bag and water bottle just there as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's the baggy system. I'm so glad that they went for that on the other side of the platform. All right, brilliant. Then you make your way on and pull down, of course, on the restraint. No seat belts, no over the shoulder restraint. Literally the Mac Rise standard lap bar on this. That we've seen, been used for 15 years now, actually, since the original Blue Fire at Europa Park in Germany. That was the kind of prototype, if you like, for um, using that train design. And this is the next generation from Mac Rides as well, um, with this train design just here. Love the little preloading. And of course, learning about finding our fearless here as well. Here we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's make our way up. Up the steps. Wow. Hey, here comes the train. <laughs> Fantastic. What's great about this is when you're making your way up into the station, you just get to watch people's reactions as they make their way back in as well. Oh, that's fantastic. And here we are then, into the station. Time to forge your wings and find your fearless. Wow. I'm just loving the soundtrack, how it carries through the whole experience so far. As soon as we stepped into the area, and then of course throughout the whole of the queue line, very bassy as well. Wow. speechless just to actually ride this coaster for the first time here what a moment charlotte what an amazing experience that was full park and blown it out the back with this one what a fantastic coaster it's a brilliant ride and definitely you can tell straight after one ride with the amount of elements on there uh, some great airtime an amazing drop the stall on there the Outer Bank airtime hill is definitely the best roller coaster in the uk for us isn't i there? completely agree the stall on there was incredible the hang time on there was brilliant we've not had anything quite like this in the uk before with the height but also mixed in with them different elements makes it such a unique experience uh, of course we're going to get some more rides in we'll talk more in detail later in the video uh, we'll base our initial ride there on the front row uh, of course making it up the lift girl the views were incredible uh, looking out you can see london in the shard heathrow and then that drop charlotte oh that drop was incredible like the little spin going around oh it was so good it was the twist on the That's drop it. there that really made it as you were heading down uh, it's like we're just plummeting straight to the ground 
and on the front you had that view, you had that exposure to see it all, Sorry, which was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and then some of our other highlights of the ride, that incredible outward banked airtime moment, which was really good at the front. Oh, that was excellent. I was having to hold on for that bit, but I'll be a bit braver later. <laughs> yeah, we were pushed uh, out just there, like, which is incredible. Like, and just that angle and seeing all the water around at Thorpe wow. Park, that really makes it. It's like you're being pushed out. Uh, and then, of course, what was probably the best part of the ride, in my opinion, was the stall. Yeah. It felt like it went on for ages, didn't I it? I completely agree. That stall was fantastic. We were just up into it and just hanging there. And it was going through with some speed, but also and not too fast either. Literally, you were just floating through the air, upside down with a lap bar restraint, uh, which was amazing. And not forgetting, of course, the two inversions on the ride, not just the stall. There's also the Immelman. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, well, I think for me, definitely the stall was the best out of the inversions. Uh, in terms of airtime, there was certainly plenty of um, out of the seat moments on the front. I feel like that's going to be even better on the back. We love airtime, so it's great to have that. Finally, to have a coaster in the UK that's got some more airtime um, is fantastic. Uh, of course, you've got the water splash element. There is a trim brake on there. You can feel it, and it does slow down the train a little bit, uh, but not too much to take away from it. And you do get some nice pockets of airtime uh, towards the end of the ride as well. Overall, very impressed. Quite surreal to just finally ride it. Uh, in terms of the overall look of it, of course, this coaster isn't themed. Um, it's more stylized, a bit like Icon, of course, another Mack Rides coaster that opened at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in 2018. And uh, yeah, with the kind of style of it, the station, the dispatch audio, and the lighting's great, isn't oh, it? They've done a really good job with that. In regards to like the landscape around the area, I'm just hoping they've got a few more trees out so they've got time to grow. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're obviously the priority was just get this thing open, get it ready for tonight, and of course the opening day tomorrow uh, that we're going to be covering here on the channel as well. Um, but yeah, really impressed with the overall kind of look and feel of it. Yes, there's some work to do with the landscaping around underneath the ride, uh, but when you're on there, you don't really know it. You're that focused on the ride, the elements, and the experience. Uh, but straight away for the UK to have something like this is phenomenal. I'm loving the soundtrack too, the overall vibe of this, and so just what an atmosphere as well. To see everybody have the rides there, uh, I'm ready for another. How are you? I am so ready to get back to back in. We're going to go and get a back row ride now and see how it is right at the back of the train on Hyperia here at Thorpe Park. Let's go. All oh, the vibes around the area are great as well. Here's a look at the Hyperia performers just here making their way back down to the stage. Of course, you did have the opening ceremony. We didn't really see or hear that much, to be honest, from further back, but still, it was definitely good to see it. <laughs> In our story, we are the Hyperion. some of that and keep it. Literally a lot of these owners that we've been to over the years, I always keep a little bit of confetti and I put it in like a little plastic wallet and keep it in the museum. These just nice little memories to have, aren't they? Oh, amazing. I'm still getting over that first ride, like just to finally get on this after so long and experience it. And he just looks the part, doesn't it, as well down here in the queue line. Wow. Beyond the horizon. Yeah, more things to see down here in the queue. Forging just over there. Forging your fearless. Oh, this soundtrack is so good. We just appreciate how good IMA score soundtracks are. Very epic, very orchestral. to start the ride as well. It's only just a normal turn, you know, that kind of outward bank there. That interaction with the queue, like waving at each other, which is really good. It's great, 
feel like there's so many moments like that, you know, as you're waiting to ball on this coaster. But yeah, in terms of the operations, I'm impressed. I really feel like the team's on here and we've been doing a lot of practicing over the past few weeks as we're getting the trains out like they are. So of course the layout itself isn't the longest for a hyper coaster. I just wanted to get in actually. It did not feel too short at all, did it? No, it didn't. I just, I just can't believe how well it rides. I, I love it so much. That was always our one concern from the start. Really is it going to be long enough for a hyper coaster? Of course, a coaster over 200 feet. And, and it is. Like, uh, yeah, it's a good length. Like, of course, it would have been even more epic if it had more at the end. Uh, maybe some more turns and airtime hills. Um, but it certainly doesn't feel too short. And that was my concern. I think the fact there's so many epic elements packed into this ride. Um, that's what really makes it, you know. But yeah, they're getting the train sent out. And yeah, like I was saying, with it being a shorter layout, um, we even managed to get the train straight, straight out without even stacking too much, uh, which is great. And literally, I love this atmosphere. <laughs> Everyone's uh, yeah. taking photos and videos and just, oh, it's an amazing moment. It really is. An amazing moment in theme park history. Yeah, for 30 years, the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach held the record. And this is it. There's a new record holder in the UK, you know, 30 years later. And it's Hyperia. And we're going on again. Back row. Look at all the smoke, wow. two rides on Hyperia here at Thor Park, one on the back row and also a mid train. And you know what? An amazing roller coaster experience here from the UK. From shouting and whooping, I'm losing my voice and that's not happened for quite a while. Thor Park have done a fantastic job with Hyperia. I cannot wait for it to go to the public tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be amazing capturing that atmosphere. But in terms of our back row ride on there, of course, the first drop on the back, uh, we were pulled straight down there, weren't oh, we? It was incredible. Like The pull down on the back drop was just amazing. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. And of course, with the twist on there, you really got the whip of it. Uh, just hearing everybody cheering and screaming, I love it. Uh, and then some other moments I really wanted to mention on the back row. Um, of course, the barrel kind of drop that comes after the hour bank airtime moment, uh, which is actually the inversion just there. I mean, that barrel turn is unlike anything really on the coast because you go into that hour bank airtime hill. I think that twisted barrel drop. Uh, and of course, you get some really good near misses with the supports. And I noticed that in a few other areas as well. Uh, some of the supports really act as a near miss. It's not really going up into the hill mode. And that's also another big question, isn't it? Has Hyperia got two inversions or three? It all depends if you class that Immelman as an inversion or not. But I think based on it, it I probably do. So it probably means really it has got three inversions instead of two. Uh, but you know what? Uh, the overall package um, of this roller coaster layout is phenomenal. It really is. The amount of elements packed in. Like I say, I was worried for the length. You don't need to be. Like this coaster has just got packed so much of a punch. I'm going to say it now. That's the best stall on any coaster in the world, in my opinion. The stall on there is incredible. That's the highlight. Now, in terms of what was our favourite ride on, on there. I actually think for me, the front row was my favourite. I completely agree, I prefer the front row. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Normally a coaster, it's a back row ride, isn't it? But no, I think for me, it was definitely um, a front row ride. But still, we're going to get some more rides in and uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it, of course, later in the vlog. We've actually got a closing ceremony show that's about to happen as well with some pyrotechnics. So we're going to get some footage of that. Wow, how amazing is this? The park have actually arranged a flyover tonight as well. Look at this. Wow. Woo! That is beautiful. Wow. Oh, it's gone so quiet. <laughs> the coaster.
of a triumph so great, it lies within us all. I yearned to explore the distant lands, to touch the clouds that paint the sky, tormented by one thing. As the waves come crashing in, I grew a strength like never before and forged my own destiny. Join us in our story. We are Hyperion. You've just seen the closing ceremony for the night there. And how amazing was that with the aircraft? That was so special. I was not expecting to see the aircraft. That was a really special touch, that one. It was so cute. Having the uh, pyrotechnics on there coming over as well. I've never seen anything like that before. No, it was really cool, that was. Like, what a nice little touch tonight. And then, of course, having, um, well, some fireworks, some pyro, actually, from the stage as well. Some really good photos of the pyro, and the pyro is excellent. It was, like, the flames, and, yeah, the pyro launching out towards the lift. Oh, oh what a special moment to be here, part of it. And uh, we're just in the Hyporium now, having a little look at the merch. Uh, we're going to have more of a detailed look with the prices and things tomorrow. We'll just have a quick overview looking at some of the merchandise. But of course, we've got some socks up there, t-shirts and hoodies. There's a few different designs. Um, like, of course, we've got the layout just on there. I thought we'll keep it brief, this one, and we'll uh, go into more detail with the shop tomorrow. Yeah, it's got some zips on just there. I'm liking how many different styles there are in the shop. Look at all the confetti everywhere. <laughs> Love it. Find your fearless Hyperion. That's quite nice. Yeah, lots of different merch. The shop is packed full of different items. A t-shirt just there as well. The jacket. Oh, look at that. Very similar to the Nemesis Reborn jacket in a way as well. What's good is they're actually selling these. So you put them on the back of that jacket. Ah, there we go. There's some mugs down here as well. They look quite nice. We've got some caps as well too. And then this is probably my favourite style of merch that they've got. They've got this embroidered hoodie just here. It says, find your fearless. Of course, the slogan for the ride down the side. And then there's a t-shirt just there with the wings down at the bottom. And a few other bits just over here too. So yeah, literally, we'll keep it brief just with this tour. But we'll have more of a look round in tomorrow's opening day video. But yeah, that moment was incredible just. Oh, and the good news is they've actually just reopened the queue again. So we can have another ride, which is fantastic. Was not expecting another go. But here we go. Oh, we're back in. This is actually be our fifth ride now on Hyperion. Look at it all this up at night. I'll tell you what, we're not going to pass up getting another ride. Not with a 10 minute wait. Fantastic. Yeah, they had to close the queue whilst all the pyro was going off. But here it goes. And look at the lighting as well for Hyperion. The UK's tallest and fastest coaster. Here she comes. <laughs> Still can't get over how awesome this ride is. But yeah, on the front road has been pushed into that outer bank. Then coming up into this stall, like I said, I believe this is the best stall in the world. Right there, the view and how slow it takes that. That's the thing with this coaster, it's the constant change of speed. You know, one minute 
it's going really fast over 80 miles an hour. The next minute you feel like you're going 10 miles an hour through that store. Like, oh, it's, it's incredible. It's a great ride for the UK. Here she is. Ride number five. And my voice is going by tomorrow. I'm going to have no voice for tomorrow. I love how it's all lit up at night. What an incredible ride to have here in the United Kingdom, Hyperia. Honestly, just look at it. The scale of this ride when you're standing right underneath it here. And at night as well with the lighting package, of course, it looks incredible. It really does. Well done, Thought Park, and to all involved in this project. It's an amazing ride, it really is. And that night ride just, was not expecting that tonight. Like, what an experience just to get that at night. But with how busy the press event was earlier, I did not think we were going to be leaving Thor Park tonight with five rides on Hyperia. Incredible. And of course, you've got the spotlights behind it at the moment as well. I reckon they are just temporary. However, I hope they bring those in for Friday nights as well. I'm sure they will do because it looks so good. And we'll see Hyperia, of course, tomorrow. Oh, honestly, what a day, what a day. We are so tired though now, but it's been a, an amazing day, hasn't it? My feet are killing me, but it's been worth it to get five rides. Oh, I can't believe it, oh. Charlotte. What an amazing experience. Oh, it's been so good. <laughs> I really enjoyed it, and to oh. finally get on it has been amazing. It really has, and the fact that it's more than lived up to expectations as well. There's a lot of hype for these new rides, you know, and especially when you follow all the construction, um, you know, you get to the point of riding it, and yeah, this thing certainly delivered. I mean, look at it, it's a thing of beauty. Hi, Peria, here at Thorpe Park. Well, here we are then, back in the car after an awesome evening here at Thorpe Park. Words can't describe how amazing it's been tonight, and we can't thank the park enough for inviting us down to come and experience Hyperia for the press night tonight. We appreciate it so much, and what an incredible ride Hyperia is. For the UK, this is a huge moment. It really is. Like, it's by far the standout roller coaster here in the UK. After five rides on there, what an experience. And of course, every seat you're on there, you're getting a great ride. Uh, but our personal preference so far is definitely the front. Yeah. Uh, we're lucky enough to have done one front row. We've done a couple of back rows. We did a row nine and a mid train. Five rides total. And we, we're just over the moon. We're over the moon with it. And Thought Park have really gone to town with the event tonight as well. With all the setup, with the planes coming in, the pyro. Just, I'm overwhelmed tonight. And I've got to say, like, in all the years of filming YouTube videos, tonight has been one of the most special nights in the history of this channel and the history of me being a theme park enthusiast, you know. Yeah, it's just been so special. The park have really gone out their way and to have such a huge ride open in the UK and for everyone to come together, and it's just been so special. It's been a big deal, this has. has tonight. A big deal to be here and be a part of it and to see it and, of course, capture it all so all of you could come along for it as well. It's been amazing, it really has. And, of course, we're just getting started with the Hyperia content. We're, we're, we're shattered tonight. We're going to we get are. some sleep um, and then we're back up early in the morning for the main opening day. Uh, so we're going to talk more, of course, about it all tomorrow, uh, about the overall experience. We'll talk more about the, the stylization, the theme, the, the station, the audio. We'll kind of touch oh, all on that a lot more. Prices for the merchandise. This was our initial ride. We've had five of them. We're really chuffed with that. What an amazing ride. The best in the UK, in our opinion, and uh, certainly up there on a, a European worldwide standard. A lot of people are going to want to come and ride this from abroad. Oh, 100%. Like, so many people are going to want to come to the UK to ride this, and it's really great for the industry. Having a ride like this with such awesome elements, normally you'd have to go abroad to get that. But now we've got it here in the UK. We've got an amazing stall, the best stall on a coaster in the world, Definitely. in our opinion. One of the best first drops. The outward oh, bank, no, the lights even got off. Oh, what's going on? Like, literally, the whole thing was just incredible. There we go. <laughs> We're back in action. Uh, you get it how it is on Theme Park All Wild. Literally, the lights back on. Well, so now it's been an absolutely fantastic night. Thank you so much for joining us. And with that light going off, well, that, that means we need to go to the hotel, <laughs> get some sleep, uh, rest up the voice. So hopefully, I'm back in action with it tomorrow. Uh, but hi, period. What a night. Thank you, Thought Park. Thank you so much. And more of it coming up tomorrow here on Theme Park Worldwide from this absolutely epic coaster here in the UK, the UK's tallest and fastest. Hi, period. And of course, it's now open here at Thought Park. But that leaves one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on riding. riding. We'll see you tomorrow.